People love to reminisce about old Roblox, but what if I told you old Roblox was actually filled with a ton of creepy and weird stuff? And today I want to investigate it deeper. So I found this old Roblox iceberg, and there's a lot of stuff on it. But there's a few things that stood out to me. So if we go to the middle of the iceberg, there's this thing called the pit. And that sounds pretty ominous and just off the name, I guess. The pit is a classic myth, and it's an extension of the 1x1x lore. Um, if you don't know who 1x is, he's basically a notorious hacker within the Roblox community. People thought he was like a huge exploiter, and they were terrified by him. I mean, look at his, his smile. It's scary. So basically, someone found this video about about the pit and within the video i think this is supposed to be like a 2008 roblox they found the game apparently and the thumbnail didn't show anything from the game just static tv that's what it looked like and in 2008 roblox that would be absolutely terrifying to see so supposedly they go into the game and there's the pit you can see oh he has builders club he was balling he was rich i wish i had builders club that's supposed to be 1x 1x those pixels are 1x 1x terrifying moment within roblox history they encounter each other you definitely cannot read that but what he just said right there with that little text bubble he said jump I think he did. I, I can't really read that. <laughs> when a hacker in Roblox is telling you to jump, you do it. You just listen to them. He goes in it and it glitches out. And then apparently his account got deleted. This is something that would happen in modern day Roblox, but 2008, it could have. Also in the description of this video says, a lost video that was found on MySpace. I'm not sure if any of you guys know what MySpace is, but I don't even know what MySpace is. What is MySpace? It's basically Facebook. Well, I don't even know if you guys know what Facebook is. It's somewhere where people could talk and interact with each other very old it's like the one of the first like digital communities of the internet but yeah i'm not sure if this is real but that subscribe button is please subscribe please all right let's go to the next one all right so the next myth that i want to talk about is at the bottom of the iceberg ultimate.rblx so apparently what ultimate.roblox is a roblox file place that is rumored to have every asset from roblox even the ones that don't exist yet now that sounds pretty confusing just reading that the only known instances of ultimate.roblox being around have been around since 2008. However, it's not known if it still exists. And apparently someone has it on video of it existing. So apparently this guy has the video. His whole channel is about like a bunch of like lost Roblox videos, I think. Hopefully yeah. he's not lying to us, but let's watch. Looks like he's just playing Roblox normally. Old Roblox. He's building. This is so creepy. And then it glitches out. Report abuse. Oh shoot, what the heck? Okay, so it's at the 20. 21 second. So this is it right here. It's like a stair. Oh shoot. I press play. So this right here is the ultimate dot Roblox thing. It's like a staircase supposedly. The image is flashed on the screen for a few seconds then shows a room with stairs going up on it. Yeah, this is what we were looking at. You can't really tell what's going on. And then apparently here's the second video that was found on this. So it goes into a game as usual and it looks pretty normal. And then it goes static. And then apparently he's in the ultimate dot Roblox thing, which seems like a creepy place. I don't know how to describe it. It just seems creepy. Every asset of Roblox is supposed to be in this game, which just feels like an empty hallway of some sort. It kind of feels like the back rooms a little bit, but for Roblox. A little creepy. It glitches out and failed to connect to the game. You can see the name of the player right here. The guy that was in the video. Let's look him up. It said he was last online 16 years ago, but I don't think this is entirely accurate considering he has the 2012 egg hunt badge. So... I'm not too sure, but it does kind of add up. I don't think the game is available for anyone to find. I wonder what happens if you type in this though. Oh my gosh, there's one game. <gasps> this might be a remake. Yeah, this is a remake, but we can see how it kind of looked maybe. Yeah, this is the whole game. Why do they have to have spooky hallways though? So this is like an old Roblox game where they put all the assets and all the models in it for some reason. A grenade. What were they doing back then in 2008? This is where we make bread. Oh, he's just so cute and tiny. You do not have permission to play this game. No. Interesting. This would probably make me very scared in 2008 if I saw this. <laughs> this screenshot. <laughs> to censor that part out. But <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. I love that. I don't know about that, but I think it's pretty interesting. Okay, so this is a different Roblox iceberg. And the next one that I want to look at is called Grim Blocks. So this thing right here is Grim Blocks. And it just looks like a square with like tentacles coming out of it there's different versions of it kind of creepy um honestly i think i would be most terrified of this one like what is it 
a spider? An entity? I don't know. This just looks stupid. <laughs> this is creepy. Okay, so apparently Grimblocks could make you disappear from your game and reappear in his. And apparently he would only show up in the upper corners of the game for some reason. I don't know. He liked being up high. This is Grimblocks. He just is in the corners of it. He's basically like a little spider. He said it's an unidentified object apparently. So it's a UFO? I don't know. Um, so let's check out the game for it really quickly. <gasps> There he is. Oh, I needed my flashlight. There he is up in the corner. Teleport me to your game, please. No, I think he's kind of dead at the moment. He hasn't been touched in a few years and that's how it should be. But no, this one's entirely fake, obviously, because it was made by someone you might be familiar with. This creepypasta was made by Tinfoil Bot. And this guy was a staple in the Roblox community. He was kind of a little bit of a menace. I like him. He would do a lot of weird stuff, but what do you got most known for? Tinfoil Bot is being like a, a troll within the community. Tinfoil Bot has this channel called LLLLL and I don't know, he was just kind of being stupid and creepy. Like, look at that. He was holding up pieces of paper. He had on like a Roblox hat on or like an R and a creepy mask on. <laughs> I don't know what he was trying to communicate to us, you know? Um, keep in mind, this was in 2014. He was just being a little bit of a menace. Like, look at how creepy his eyes are. They're like staring into you. <laughs> What an icon. I don't really know what Tim Fowl Bot's intentions were. I think he was just being stupid. And this creeped out a lot of people. He said, Roblox Tim Fowl Bot. And then he had like a bunch of slashes. You would think he was like in jail with all the tallies or something. This is just like your average Roblox player. But you know, this man created Grim Blocks and he was just kind of created a lot of stupid stuff. But I think he came back. I think he came out of like a hiatus. So warning, the biggest troll is back on Roblox. And now I want to look in this section near the water. The Nob cease and desist order. I don't know if this is really a myth. Well, it is a myth. So if you don't know what Phenob, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Phenobi. So if you don't know what Phenobi is, it's basically a Roblox revival. Basically Roblox revivals were made so people can like relive old Roblox in a sense. And this was one of those revivals. People thought all these Roblox revivals had viruses on them. Like if you downloaded or played any of these games, you would get a rat, which is a virus. A virus that will basically control your computer. And they responded, watch this if you're unsure whether or not our game is a virus. Do I trust you? Do I believe this person? I don't know. I don't trust anyone on the internet, but Roblox doesn't care. Phenobi was shut down due to legal actions from Roblox. I feel like there's so many Roblox remakes on the platform. I don't think you don't need to go to like an external site. I think you could just type in Roblox old. There you go. You find like retro studio. This looks like old Roblox. How cute. Watch a TV. Oh, we're so cute. But yeah, let me know if you guys believe any of those creepy and weird Roblox myths. Yeah.